Are we recording? Yes. Okay, so hi, this is uh, Stefan Constantinescu, Anatomy and Physiology 2, Spring 2016 semester at uh, Tarrant County College, the North East, West, Can I always forget that, uh, it's not important, but uh, the purpose of this video is to go through the histology section of chapter, section, sorry, of section 16 in your lab book, basically if you have the Anatomy and Physiology lab textbook, and if you go to page 65, uh, I'm going to run through all of these slides going from the top to the bottom. They will be on the lab midterm. So how do you access the slides since you don't want to go to the Science Learning Center or you're on vacation or what have you? Uh, you type in connect.mheducation.com. Uh, basically, you go straight to Connect as opposed to going through it, uh, going to Connect through Blackboard. And then you type in your school ID and password. Mine was auto populated. You click sign in. Give it a second to do its thing. Uh, choose your semester. And you have Connect access because you need Connect access to do the homework. I hope you're doing your homework. And then over here, you have Cadaver Dissection Tool. Click on that, it launches a new tab called Anatomy and Physiology Revealed. I'm not 100% sure if recording this video is violating some sort of copyright, but whatever. Um, and then over here on the top, you select your module. I'm going to go with endocrine for obvious reasons. And then there's a little microscope here, histology. Click that. And now you choose. So let's go, like I said, page 65, top to bottom. This is the pituitary gland. Now, we all know it. It has two lobes, the front and the back. Which one's which? Luckily, you can click, and I'm going to click on anterior pituitary. And there you go. It's highlighted. It's the section in blue. It is the darker section because it, it secretes more hormones. The posterior pituitary, on the other, on the other hand, there you go. It's the back so that's how you know which ones which i'm not 100 percent sure how the slides are going to look like on our lab midterm but i'm assuming your uh, respective professor will zoom out enough so that it can be obvious now let's move towards the thyroid gland media magnification is that enough yeah that's perfect um you have to know the thyroid follicle cells and the parafollicular cells so this is what a follicular cell looks like as you can see there are the cells on the perimeter the colloid that basically just means the liquid inside that's all colloid means really and then the parafollicular cells those are the cells sort of interstitial in between the uh the circles there and just a quick refresher, uh, the follicle cells, the cells that surround the perimeter, uh, they secrete thyroid hormones, T3 and T4. Whereas the parafollicular cells secrete calcitonin. That's it for the thyroid gland. Moving on to the adrenal gland. Here we go super renal adrenal gland low magnification is that enough that's pretty good what does medium look like okay here we go as you can see in the let me rephrase uh you can clearly see separation there's a medium rare layer which is called the medulla which is all the way in the middle medulla here we go the one above that that's called the zona reticularis. The one above that um, should be the zona fasciolata. Yep. And then the one above that should be the zona glomerosa. Glomerosa, yeah. And if you want to know how I remember that, um, that's actually a really, here's a tip. Uh, I'm going to open a brand new tab 
uh, Google Docs, maybe. Mm, yeah. Da, 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 blank page. All right. So summer's coming up. What's the best part about summer? For me, it's watermelon. I love watermelon. It's absolutely delicious. So you want to go find round melons. That's your little mnemonic there. The go, the G is your zona glomero. I don't even know how to spell that. The F is the um, zona fascial. I have no idea how to spell. I'll let you handle that. The R is the zona reticularis, and the M is the medulla. Now, how do you remember which layer secretes which hormones? Well, you've obtained your delicious watermelon, and what do you do? with it. You always cut at the equator. So A for aldosterone, C for cortisol, A is for the androgens, and E is for the epinephrine and norepinephrine. And that's just a quick little mind hack I've used. Uh, hopefully you can use it to your benefit as well. So that was the adrenal gland. What's next? The pancreas. Do, 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 do. Pancreas. Select view, low. That's, that's good enough. Um, it's going to show you the endocrine and exocrine functions because the pancreas does both. Uh, can we go even higher? Okay, this might be... It might not look like this on your exam. It might. I'm not sure. I haven't had it yet. Um... You want to look at the pancreatic islets, the big circles with the, uh, I don't know what those are called inside. I don't want to say the word granules because I'm not sure if that's anatomically correct, but the big circle with the small dots inside. Uh, that's your pancreatic islet. And that releases the da, 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 pancreatic islet. Oh yeah, that releases your glucagon and insulin. And then you have your asinar cells, which I'm not 100% sure they'll even be on the midterm because I crossed it out in my lab book. And if I crossed it out in my lab book, there's a good chance it's not going to be on the exam. Uh, now let's look towards the ovaries. We have to switch chapters now. Let's go to the reproductive module. Click on the microscope, select topic ovaries. Here we go. That That is an ovary. Uh, you need to know what the OO site is. I'm not even sure what the OO site is, so let's find this out. Uh, medulla of ovary. Secondary follicle, primary follicle. What if we switch magnification? Primary follicle, secondary. Uterus? No. Ovary. Hmm. I need to look that up. I'm going to assume, and you shouldn't assume, you should always use Google, um, that it's these, because the follicles create ovaries. Those are follicle cells. Those are secondary follicle cells. These are primary follicle cells. Our book just says we need to know follicle cells, and we have to know what an oocyte is. Need to look that up. Next, we have the corpus... <laughs> corpus luteum, which I crossed out, which means it's not going to be on our exam. And then we have the testes. Where would that be? Uterus seminiferous tubule. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, low magnification. This is not a slide. This won't be on our test. Primary, secondary, corpus luteum. Let's go back to endocrine module. Endocrine module. Histology. Topic, pancreas, parathyroid, posterior, adrenaline. This is good. Uh, can we zoom out a little bit? No, you can't. Hmm. I wonder 
Well, you should look up slides of the testes. All you need to know is, uh, you know what? I'm going to find it, damn it, even if it kills me. Histology, topic, secondary corpus, uh, vagina, center, first tubule. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so seminiferous tubules, uh, that is the big circle. Low magnification. Yeah, I don't like that photo. High magnification, much better. That is the big circle in the middle. Interstitial cells, which are basically the cells around the perimeter, um, those are called the interstitial cells for obvious reasons. Where would they be even called? Spermatid? No. Spermazoan? No. 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 Yeah, the interstitial cells, which for some strange reason I can't highlight on here. They are the cells on the outside. Basically everything around this pink perimeter uh, those would be interstitial cells. Now you also have to know what all of these cells, what all the cells on page 65 release, and that's where page 66 and 67 come in. I'm not going to read aloud all of that for obvious reasons. You can do so yourself. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Only reason I made it is because last semester we had a histology video provided for us. This semester we don't, for some strange reason.